uh, Maverick RX. Good morning, YouTube. Hello. I'm Melissa. And I'm Rhonda. I got kind of zoomed in on myself today. You guys can really see my, uh, my age spots there. Uh, so how's it going, Ron? What's up today? I don't know. I don't have a plan today other than some kind of workout. <laughs> <laughs> Probably some kind of workout. More, okay. Some more cleaning. Trying to. Yesterday I cleaned on top of my plant shelf in the bathroom. It's a task. Full tasks. Good morning, Kate. Hello. Uh, you cleaned on top of your. Oh, dang. See, if I zoom out, then you see my husband's clothes over there. <laughs> Close up, close up. I'm going to tell them we're live because I didn't do that today. Oh, okay. I guess I could just move the camera like that a little bit. Hey, guys, we're live hey, on YouTube. The guest room. Come check it out. Yeah, we have, um, my husband uses it for DNA for DNA for DNA DNA. So He has over. three closets in the house. Um, so, good morning, Aaron. Good morning, Britt. We are just getting ourselves situated here. Uh, yeah, we're a little late to the game today. I was having a hard time this morning, gals, because I don't know why. Because it's Friday. Because I don't want to get out of bed. It's like, what's the point? Hey, <laughs> 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 I, I am struggling with the getting out of bed. Yesterday, uh, Joe mentioned he's having a hard time getting out of bed because it is like Groundhog's Day. I thought, okay, what could be different today? Nothing. I was thinking thing. I should um when I make some pasta. Oh I boy. Bring it up over to Joe. I'm sure he would enjoy that. I don't I kind of think he's I don't know. I'm sure I don't know if he's in a assisted living or if he's in like or if he's in his own house. I'm not sure. Well he's he but did it, say that he went to the store and it was like not so. He went during the senior time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my my husband's uncle went yesterday to Costco during the senior packed. I'm like, I think they're better off going. You never right when it's like early morning or something. Yeah, I don't know. I uh, made burgers last night. I made turkey burgers and regular burgers. Uh -huh. So I didn't have any grumblings from the husband. You know, um, <laughs> doesn't like the turkey burgers. Yeah. Right? Like yesterday was. Really a priceless uh, opportunity for me to feel like a moron because I I knew that I had clogged the sink. I knew it was me, um, but I didn't say that. I just said the sink is clogged. Uh -huh. That was Wednesday. Yeah. No, Tuesday. It clogged, clogged Tuesday. I dealt with it for 24 hours. And then Wednesday night, I made a comment like, do you want me to call a plumber? Because I'm thinking, you know, I could call Britt's husband. I'm sure um, he might have time to fix this situation. I, I knew <laughs> it was my fault though, right? Yeah. But I didn't mention that to Jamie because I thought, why would I throw myself under the bus? You know, that's just not necessary. Ooh, yum. Um, but then he gets the sink pulled apart and he goes, bring all the kids in here. <laughs> And I'm like, why would I do that? Why would I bring all the children into the kitchen? What's the problem? And he's like, it's like someone's poured an entire thing of grease down here. <laughs> <laughs> like, it is, you're right. <laughs> that's what happened. Because that's what I did. And I forgot to like follow it up with some hot water for a little while. Uh -huh. So it sure enough, just, I mean, it clogged that sink real good, guys. Okay. Oh so he was not pleased with me once I, I acknowledged it was my fault and then he was fine and it was like back together and he was happy kind of laughing uh -huh. at my idiotness I'm posting the link so that's why I'm a little distracted I know it's it's hard work I know <laughs> so well, uh but then it wouldn't go back together all the way and it kept leaking just a little bit. So he worked on it a lot longer than he expected to and certainly more than I expected him to. And he was like, ooh, not happy. Yeah, they don't like when we... He got a little grumpy. He's like, what do you do? Just sit around here all day and try and figure out things to break? I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's what I do all day. 
I sit around <laughs> here and think, oh, I'm going to break something. So Jamie has something to do. Right. Yeah. That's exactly what we want to do. I do feel bad when I do stuff like that, though. Oh, no. I mean, none of us want to do that. Like, but I mean, I really, when I put the pot roast down the disposer, I really didn't think I was going to have a problem. Mm-hmm. Because it's a disposer is supposed to like dispose. I love how you call it a disposer. <laughs> That's what it's called. <laughs> no, it's called a disposal. If you look at the words oh. on the machine itself, it's a disposal. disposal. But it's like another Rhonda is a <laughs> like divorces. <laughs> right? Eileen knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. So uh, Aaron made chicken parm last night. That's my very favorite food, I think. Yeah, I like chicken parm. Oh, I love chicken parm. That used to be how I would qualify restaurants back, you know, when I was a young oh, person really? in the city and Jamie and I were going to restaurants on the weekends. If they had good chicken parm, I would return. But if they didn't, nope. But they were out. Yeah. So in just a few minutes, Andy's joining us. Yeah. You guys get to meet Andy, Rhonda's uh, boss. From DNA. DNA running store in downtown Plainfield. He's going to chat with us a little bit. He's a super sweet guy. Um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to hear how it's going for him from the perspective of a small business owner uh, during this crazy season. Crazy season, for sure. I uh, made chicken surprise last night. What does that mean? And I got a lot of grum a lot of grumbling. What do you mean chicken? So, so when Frank and I were first married, it was one of the things that kind of it was just chicken, broccoli, and like cream of chicken soup over rice kind of thing. Uh-huh. And Frank started calling it chicken surprise because I would make it different every time. Yeah. most of the things I do is that so that's what we've called it so like last night it was chicken onions peppers broccoli with cream of chicken soup and I add some wine and whatever over rice and they that's not their favorite thing to eat but it's quick and easy so that's what we had that's but you know I feel swelled up oh do you want- because I think those canned soups there's so oh. much sodium in them. Yeah. It's just, you know, it's just kind of one oh. There he is. Hey, Andy. Hi. Hi. Andy. How are you? How are you? Uh, you know, tired. I'm usually not up at this time, so. <laughs> when do you normally get up, Andy? Uh, depends when the dog wakes me up, but usually about nine o'clock to be now. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. What kind of dog do you have? What kind of dog do you have? Uh, we have two dogs. One dog sleeps in bed with us. It's a little Italian greyhound. Uh, mm-hmm. They're like small little dogs. The other one's like a, a hound mix with that we just got not too long ago. She's the one that wakes me up, the hound mix. So. Uh, that's nice. Yeah, that's good. At least it gets me up. So yeah. she actually, she was getting me up at like six in the morning for the first few months. And now I got it to, then it was seven and now I can get her to like 8.30 or nine. So. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's yeah. really good. So tell me, tell me, uh, what do you think about this, this whole disaster we're in here? Who, me? Yes. What do I think about it? Uh, yeah, like, how's it going? What are you, are you feeling like Yeah. What's, frustrated? What? Are you, you know, like, what's going on in your mind? Fine or? Oh, uh, well, I mean, I think it's, it's scary a little bit uh because of the unknown like none of us really experiencing like this before it's a virus that uh our human bodies aren't used to it's not it's not like a a flu where we've all had the flu or the human body is somewhat used to flus uh so it's a little bit scary even though uh you know i have no underlying health issues and i'm in the age group that's probably going to be fine it's so scary just the thought of getting it and not knowing what it is so there's a little bit of fear, but I try to overcome that with more, you know, just hope for the future and just seeing all the good things that are, have come out of this. Like, it's really exciting to look outside and see all the people like walking around with their families. You know, that that part is, you never see that. Like you never see so many people outside being active as, as a family. Yeah, that's true. I feel like my kids and I are spending a lot of time outside because, you know, 
Um, how about your church? Is it is it doing something virtually or? Yeah, I go to Mission Bible Church in uh, Minooka, and mm -hmm. they for a couple of years now have been doing, um, you know, they've been doing the live streaming. So they were saying like what a blessing it is that they started that a couple of years ago was they kind of yeah. got the, they figured it all out. Um, and a couple of years ago, also, they started doing the giving online where you can, you don't have to bring your, your money to church. You can give, you know, financially online. So they were saying what a blessing it was that they set that up in advance because they're still able to, you know, help the church grow financially. Uh, and they're also still able to uh, spread their mission on their live stream. Right. Well, and also it's just, it's just something, one less thing to, to not worry about when you already have it in place. So that's really, yeah. really fantastic. Oh, and now sure. you guys are doing something at the store, right? People can, can drive up to pick up shoes. Yeah, they can do curbside uh, pickup. Rhonda, are you covering that? Or you want me to cover that? I didn't know if she was talking to me or you. You can, you can cover it. Okay. Because you're on the screen now. So like I can see a, a big picture of you on my screen. So I'm like, oh no, was I not supposed to talk right now? <laughs> Yeah, I think, I think I you want to put it on gallery view. Oh, I think it like switches back and forth. It's kind oh. of weird. okay. You All can, right, Andy, you can put it on gallery view one way or another. I think if you like want to, you find a little thing on the screen with your mouse that says gallery view. Uh, that's okay. I'm afraid I'm gonna break oh. something. I'm not gonna. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Yeah, I'll touch something and then I'll be gone. It'll be like a fu so like, fuzzy yeah. screen. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. But yeah, we, we are doing something um, at the store. Actually, we just started doing, um, we have the capability now to, well, first, I guess I'll start with what they're allowing us to do. Mm -hmm. We're able to do curbside pickups. Um, people can call in and pay over the phone and then swing by and grab it. Or if they don't have the opportunity to get out if they live within a 10 mile radius of Plainfield we'll also can deliver what they need um, or free shipping as well we can offer that the only tricky part is you know a lot of what we do is people need to come in and get that fitting experience which is a lot of I would say almost half the people who come in every day are new people or people who need to get fitted so mm -hmm. it really only applies to someone who already kind of knows what they're looking for um, right. kind of thing so but we've kind of found a few fun ways to maybe encourage people to still support us uh, while this is going on and help somebody else out too. So obviously like our regulars who, you know, know they're going to need shoes or maybe not even regular who know they're going to need shoes at some point in the next month or two, we're offering gift certificates, which maybe you've seen um, we've offered like a hundred dollar gift certificate you can buy from DNA and it also comes with either a free pair of our gooder socks, uh, three pack socks, or if you don't necessarily need anything for yourself, you can donate um, $10 to uh, our local food pantry. So it's just a way to get a lot of gifts. It's just a gift card. Obviously, it's just a little piece of paper that you can't redeem yet, but it comes with some extra perks that we don't normally offer. So there is an That's advantage. Awesome. Yeah. I know. I know the uh, food banks really need help now. I also have thought about trying to schedule a um, donating blood because that's that's going to just really be in dire need. Um, they were, <laughs> you guys, a few days ago, there was a woman on with um, Pritzker from the American Red Cross, and she was talking about how, like, within the past month, hundreds of blood drives have been canceled. And oh, so they're, they're going to come into like not having enough blood just for regular stuff, right? right? Like car accidents or cancer patients, right. whatever it might be. And then day. on top of it, all of this. So I think my husband and I need to need to donate blood because we're healthy individuals and you might, you know, you might as well. Yeah, I can't. I don't, I've never donated blood. I pass out too easily. So, uh, do you? One thing, I do a lot of stuff, but I, I can't. I won't do blood just because I know that I am so squeamish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind needles. Well, all right. So that's cool. That's awesome. You guys are donating to the to the food bank, huh, Ron? Yeah, it's very cool that we got some options to keep things going, and we're trying to. It was keep your going. idea. I think it was your idea. It was. It was one of my ideas, yeah. And then uh, we are doing a lot of fun stuff um, with in front of our store to kind of keep a positive vibe, even though a lot of people walk through downtown 
So we were thinking that it would be fun with the chalk to kind mm -hmm. of keep that vibe. So Angie's like the artist there. So she's been creating some cool stuff in front of the store. The one, did it go away yesterday from the rain? I'll find out today. I'm in today, so I don't know. Probably. Oh. So, <laughs> she was saying how she wanted to put a tarp over it. <laughs> oh. Protect it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Amy Radakis is on this morning, um, and she said that she needs to measure her son's feet. And then you're going to help her figure out what size she was best for him. So she's going to do that today. Oh, cool. Yeah. How do you measure a person's foot? From That's back? what I was trying to figure out. Um, I said <laughs> She was sending me a message through Facebook Messenger. So mm -hmm. um, obviously, you usually you want to measure when someone's standing up. Well, maybe not obviously, but you measure when someone's standing up so all their weight is down. Right. Um, so I figured as long as she measured from his longest toe, which is usually his big toe, yeah. all the way down like the inner side of your foot back to the heel, I'd be able to take that information and put it onto our sizing chart, like take a ruler and put it on our sizing chart and kind of see right. what that is. Uh, good idea. Yeah, that's the only way I could think of to get close is if she measured his from the top of his big toe all the way to the back of his heel, like on the inner side of your foot, like where your arches. She said after he cuts his toenails. Oh. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah. That's how my kids are right now. I gotta say, I keep saying, take a shower and trim your nails. Yeah, they're like little claws. Um. So you said something that I thought was funny. You said, which is usually his his longest toe is usually his big toe? Usually. Sometimes it's people's second toe. Really? Yeah, usually it's the big toe, but a lot, sometimes it is the second toe, yeah. Huh. See, you see all sorts of interesting feet. feet. I guess so. I guess so. Yeah, okay. everyone thinks their foot is the worst. Not everyone, but a lot of people think their foot is the worst that you've ever seen. They're like, oh, I've got really flat feet just to warn you ahead of time. I got really wide feet just to warn you ahead of time. And then I look at it and I'm like, Actually, you know, your foot's like relatively normal arch and your foot is somewhat wide, but you know, I've seen feet for, you know, 15 to 20, maybe even 20 years now. And it's like, you know, I have seen some worse, but in most cases, people are, they, they're just, you know, they're, they think it's conscious. Yeah. They're, they're, feet, they're foot conscious. They're just foot like, conscious. Yeah. 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 Or someone told them they have a flat foot at some point and then they just believed it. And then I see their foot and I'm like, your foot's not that flat so yeah, it happened all of them yeah all right well so what do you got going on this weekend anything anything fun this weekend yeah are you gonna do anything oh. fun yourself having a Myself. good time uh that's sad that i don't even know probably not um <laughs> hopefully it's not, hopefully it's nice outside uh, i've been doing yard work you mm -hmm. know but is it supposed to rain uh, I think it is going to rain. Yeah, sadly. I think the next nice day is like Monday. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah it's nice out. I want to get outside. Uh, Angie came over the other day and we stayed, I will say that we stayed six to eight feet apart and we, we went fishing, which was fun. We didn't catch anything, oh. um, but we did go fishing. We, so that was the one nice day we had here a few days ago and we went fishing uh, and then, so hopefully if it's nice out, I like, to, I like to exercise, obviously get outside mm -hmm. and do stuff like that. Yard work is nice right now because I didn't do the whole, like, cleaning up of the leaves and the... In the fall. Yeah, I have a lot of, we have a lot of, uh, stuff around our property that needs, like, cut down so it can regrow for the year. Um, mm -hmm. so I haven't done that yet. I usually, I used to do it in the fall, but now I kind of just wait till the, I'm like, it'll still be there. It'll still be there in the spring, so I'll just wait till that. <laughs> <laughs> my cousin uh kate is in florida and she's on this morning she said it's sunny and gonna be 90 here today <laughs> oh wow <laughs> gonna go swimming i gotta tell you quarantining in florida sounds like a lot more fun than quarantining in plainfield <laughs> uh, yeah well yeah. it had potential it had good potential around here but then it was rain it's raining and been like it's not pleasant with the rain so, it's supposed know. to start raining at one today according to the apple app one. And then, uh, yeah, not stop. I guess Sunday is just windy, but not rainy. So, no. not bad. Well, wind is still, I don't like the wind either. The wind is annoying. No, the wind is cold. Yeah. It messes yeah. up the whole temp thing. Well, next time there's a quarantine, hopefully they can pick it like during warmer weather or something. So. I know. Let's, let's hope there's not a next time. 
Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the maybe the world needs another wake up call. Like people need to, you know, we were talking the other day when we were out doing sidewalk talk. We we're like, hey, you know, like most of the time we spend our time thinking about like our jobs and emails and stuff that's right. like not that important. And we were outside just having like real conversations about like our relationships and our family and we were just like sidewalk talking like kids and it was something that I don't think we do enough of anymore so it was really cool. No, there's think... definitely some good things coming out of it I, mm -hmm. I mean for sure. Yeah absolutely it just right. doesn't happen to be like the economy. <laughs> yeah well you yeah. know. Right but I do think that um, I have done some of the some of the articles I've read indicate that they might do quarantines later, like in kind of waves, if they can't get a hold of the virus, that it might have to be like another quarantine in the fall um, because of that. So I, I mean, who knows what they're going to, you know, if they could, Rhonda, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to do another quarantine? Not really. <laughs> well, I saw one of our former employees who just left, Josie, she's over in the UK now. Um, I saw she went grocery shopping, must have been the other day, and they had them staggered, you know, like they were waiting in lines out the door, like every six feet, and they're only letting people in so often, and they must have to go. And I thought about the other day, I'm like, you know, we're trying to like social distance, and then you go into a Meyer, like I go to, or a Jewel or whatever, they don't have it set up with any rules or regulations. They need to have like, you go down an aisle one way, and then you, there's like, should be a, a traffic flow. Yeah. And like, kind of like those things, like when you go to a bank or a air, you know, when you go get on airplane, there's like the little. Oh yeah. Right. Things you walk through that kind of keep people in the right spots. Cause it's like, there's no social distancing when you're going down the aisle, different directions and you know, yeah. you're, so yeah, they don't have the, for as much as like the U S is like trying to think of social distancing. I don't think they've done a good enough job with like regulating where everyone is needs to be, which is at gas stations and, uh, the, the places you still can go. I don't think they have right. them regularly well enough. Yeah, no, I agree with you on that. And I have seen some of that stuff, like there's um, like X's taped on the ground at Meyer, but yeah, yeah, only by the good. checkout. So like the whole yeah. store, you can yeah. be by people everywhere. Exactly. Well, yeah, usually... signs everywhere that say like six feet social distance, you know. Who does? Aldi, did you say? Yeah. Yeah. Aldi does. Hmm. Yeah, it's all interesting. That's for sure. Yeah, I definitely agree. We could do a better job of creating some socially distant. Well, like even when we come out of this particular section of, you know, being at home, I do think that like the next phase is that is like, okay, well now only so many people can go in the grocery store at one time. Yeah. I, you know, well, like, I think they're going to keep some, I think once everybody's back to like, there's it's not going to go back it's going to go back slowly yeah, yeah. like we're not going to just be like okay off quarantine let's back to party time events and concerts and stuff i think that's going to all be slowly um back in which which i'm hoping my june concerts don't get postponed but i'm having a feeling they're gonna yeah so. Amy Radeka said that Peter Ruby gives guidance for their customers on how to shop and respect others in their store. That's where I've been going. That's where I've been going lately instead, just because they obviously keep more produce in stock. And yeah. um, obviously you can't get like your super essentials there, like your right. water and stuff like that. But that's where I've been kind of going um, just because I don't want the hassle of going to like the big stores. So I've been kind yeah. of living out of those, which is good. It's been made the, Made me more vegan, so I. Do they sell you know, milk. Um, I think so, yeah, I'm pretty sure they have milk. If I not, you probably can get it right next door at the meat place. Uh, oh yeah, Tischler's. Tischler's, yeah. Crema yeah. has sell, Crema has milk now too. Oh, yeah. For sale, like they're selling milk and bread and like some different things like that, to not just coffee. I wonder where, they're, wonder where she's getting her milk from. You think Casey's got a cow? Uh, yeah, she's, she's got some kind of farm she's using. It's, I oh, can't okay. remember what, um, she's got, actually it's got some package deals where you could buy, mm -hmm. buy the coffee, the milk, um, you get coffee, milk, bread, and like some kind of syrup. And it's, 
one of the things that you're supporting three small businesses uh, by yeah. buying this package or whatever. So hmm. I'm gonna have to get that. I don't drink coffee though. Do you want my coffee, Rhonda? If I get it. Yeah, I'll take your coffee. I always drink the coffee. Yeah. I I said to Angie, we need to get a coffee. Hey, we got. We're gonna have to get a coffee pot at the store. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but then you won't go down the crema. We want you to. Go oh, down that's the true. That's true. All right. Well, we should probably wrap things up with our prayer requests. And Sounds good. Let me ask. Anybody have prayer requests? Prayer requests? Question mark. I don't know. I. Uh, I have. Uh, I have. Who's your grandfather? Um, they did a, a blood test yesterday. That I guess, and then I guess they did not get the urine test yet. So I'm kind of in waiting limbo with that and then my aunt sent something to for a prayer request for my cousin um she had a kidney stone and it turned into a bad kidney infection so she's mm -hmm. in the hospital and that's in oregon mm -hmm. um which seattle you know washington's kind of a hotbed right now my aunt lives in seattle Britt says she's praying for good weather this weekend because she's going to try and visit the daughter. She's going to go see Claire. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Oh, that'll warm your heart to see her. I'm yeah. Sure. I uh, I would like nice weather, that's for sure. And then, of well, course, basics. Your basics, them. right, your front line. Um, Amy yeah. Rodeke says the book Pauses for Lent has her on fire this week. Thank you so much. You're welcome for the devotional. I've enjoyed the devotional, too. Um, that's a, it's a great book. I, I think the thing I like the most about it is that it is one I can pull it out next year, <laughs> you know, like it's right it's, every year. Right. Right. No, I um, like it too. Yeah, I do like it quite a bit. I, yesterday I didn't read my books and I have to say I had a bad day. I can't not read the books, especially now because it's just like, ugh, my brain no. goes into a negative mode. So what you got for me today, Ron? All right. So I have a prayer, a little verse, and a little saying. Mm -hmm. I pray that you'll keep thinking good thoughts. It doesn't cost anything to be an optimist, and it's a lot more fun than the alternative. And the verse is from Colossians 3, 2. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. And then a little saying, feed your mind with the good, the clean, the pure, the powerful, and the positive. Which it's like good for right now, right? Yeah, it is good for right now. Will you read the first line again, what you said at the oh, very beginning? Sure. I'm sorry. There's something in it that struck me. Oh boy. Oh boy, now I put her on the spot, Andy. I gotta find it now. Oh boy. Uh, don't worry about it. It's okay. We'll figure it out later. You lost it that quickly? You didn't you just have it like a second ago? <laughs> she shut the book. Shut oh, the book. The book. okay. I shut the book. And I had found it earlier. It's okay. I think it was something about feeding your mind. Oh, yeah. Sure. And I think that that's so important right now, especially with all the negativity in the news, to find yeah. something. Here it is. I got, got it. it. Okay, here it is. I pray that you'll keep thinking good thoughts. It doesn't cost anything to be an optimist and it's a lot more fun than the alternative. And then the verse says, set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. Yeah, I like that one. Don't yeah. lose the page because I want to make a graphic out of it. Can you keep the page? Just take a picture of it. That's a really good one, especially right now, guys. So I hope you can keep your minds positive. Um, Aaron, I see your kiddos going to their dads this weekend, and I will pray for them to have a good weekend and come back healthy. That's stressful. I know there's a lot of, I think um, it's challenging when you have shared custody with your children mm -hmm. to let them go to someone else's home during a time like this, because you oh, don't yeah. know what the restrictions are there, if there are the same kind of structure that you would have, you know, that's stressful. So I'm praying for I'm praying for all the families that are experiencing that. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Well, thank you, Andy, for joining yeah, us. Thank nice you, Andy. This morning. And, no and if you guys 
want to help DNA out during this time, remember you can get a gift card. $10 can go to a food pantry or free gooder glasses or free socks. So um, we and always- he can, he can help you measure your foot virtually, probably. Yeah, just he'll right. tell you how to do it. He's probably, there probably is an app for that, but we are also getting in some shirts that I had made today. Um, it should be coming in today from our printers, but they say it's like got kind of a, a nature scene with a, a, a guy camp, like a camping, a camping nature scene. And then it says social distancing pro. So oh, like, cool. Well, I like that. being outdoors and stuff. So those will be in today. And I, I'm going to figure out how much they all, they cost and all that, because I want to make sure that we save some room in the funds to also donate to the food pantry with this, with the purchases of the shirt. So I'll figure that out today when they come in and I'll have them up on our website today. Oh, very cool. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank well, you. Have a great day. Yeah, thank everybody you. have a good day. Hold on one Bye. second. We have a question. Oh, um, Julie said, how do we get the gift cards? She missed the part about how she gets the gift cards. Oh, they're available on our website. Um, DNA.plainfield.com. So yeah, I think it's just DNA Plainfield. There's no dot or anything. It's DNA oh, it's not, I don't know that. Yeah, don't ask. DNA Plainfield.com for gift certificates. Um, what's the store's phone number? Uh, 815-588-0908. Okay. DNAplainfield.com, 815-588-0908. Correct. Got it. All cool. right, guys. Have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow morning at 815. Our friend Meredith is joining us, so we'll see you then. Bye-bye.